Bible thump. I mean, heck, we might even do both. If I get to Bowser and then die at one of them, then I'll do the other one just to see what it is. Aha. This, this is a Bible thump in a level, all right. This is the one I was thinking about a while ago, where it's like bullet bills, or in this case, birds from... Oh, what the heck of Roonies was that? Oh, the, the Koopa from the shell popped out and damaged me. Oh, 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 I goofed that one. Oh, I might need those extra lives after all if I keep playing like that. Ah! You're just playing bad on purpose to get drama! Like, no, I'm playing bad on purpose because I'm playing bad. I think you mean playing not well. Like, whatever. You don't know me or my grammar. Rules work differently in the underworld. And just because you don't understand it doesn't mean you have to be hating it. There's a lot to like that you don't understand. Ooh, and that was a nasty hit right there. I do like the fact that it gives you just, like, a second or two to kind of understand, like, oh, I just got hit. And then gives you a split second to, oh, geez, think about it. Oh, I forgot it gets super spicy. This is super duper spicy. Mushroom? Yeah, it is. All right. Oh, nope. Shouldn't have jumped. I would have been just fine. Maybe if that stays on the screen. Okay. Wait for the next one. Is it time-based or is it location-based? There we go. That, that'll do. I think it might be location-based. Oh. Gotta be careful. Some of the some of the bullet bills are still bullet bills instead of birds. And here we go. One, two, three. Too high. I thought we were gonna get the big 50. But well, we got it once, and that's all that matters. Now we are Little Luigi, and we must go to Bowser's Castle. Front door! Yeah, I, I, I don't know why I went that way, to be honest. We, we're going to go to leave now! Because I have issues with authority. Authority. Oh, that's right. This is spooky lights. So I think this is relatively unchanged. Yeah, because of these things. It's like, hey, learn about these things. You're going to need them to kill Bowser. Just gonna keep bopping them. Oh, he's about to wake back up. Don't want to be holding him when he does that. Ooh. Wait, we're at Bowser already? That was the easiest <laughs> last level ever. Thanks, randomizer. Jeez, I wonder what the front door's like. We should probably check that out, because I just started recording. So... Alright, we saw the back door. Now it's time for the front door. And actually, I'm going to cut this in before the Bowser fight. So, all of that stuff... Ooh... That's right, you have to, like, choose which door you want to go into. And you have to go through two of them. So let's start with four. Four for more likes and subs. Four for more likes and subs. Oh. Oh, yeah, this one. Okay. It's the mystery blankets. You never know what's hiding in the blankets. Oh. Let's bloop you there. And then we go up here. Yay! Ah, interesting. I see. That one was pretty simple. Just a neat little maze. And then five, six, seven, and eight. 
I think there's a mode... I don't think I had it randomized because I didn't know what it did. Where there's the Bowser's Castle Gauntlet, where you actually have to go through all eight of the rooms, which would be pretty interesting, but... I don't know how you're supposed to get through them all with that much time left on the clock. Sneak down here. It's going to be like... Oh. I don't like that little guy. He's mean. And he bamboozled us one time in one of the castles. That way? Nope. Oh, couldn't get it. I was hoping it would go the other way. Uh huh. That one's trapped, which is nice. Ready for some stylish action? Boom! Tactical espionage action. Rip, rip. Rip, blip. Rip, blip. Blip, blip. There we go. Got all the blips out of our system. Gonna trick that guy and sneak in the old bamboozle. Whoop, not so fast. And he's stuck in the- Oh, jeez, oh, I panicked. I panicked. Oh, we gotta do that again. We have to... We have to do number six again. But until then, we can also do a different one here since we beat number four. Let's do number one because that is what I am in your heart. Oh, ooh. Yeah, fireballs. Bloop. Okay. Easy peasy. Do number six. We got to do number six. I saw a feather down there, too. So that was... We almost got that feather, and then we would have been fine. He's going to sneak that way. He's going to be like, Blarg. He's going to be like, Blarg, I think. Nope. Oh, I was hoping we could sneak by, but I guess there's not enough room there. All right, looks like we're checking out all of the Bowser Castle rooms, at least the first four. Let's go to two, as in subscribe to the Overlord Empire. Oh, 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 run the other way, run the other way. Uh, uh, oh, okay, so we do have to, we gotta go fast. We gotta make like Sonic and go... Go super fast. Also, we're almost out of lives. I forgot that once you beat the game and you, you have to reload your save file, it only starts you at five lives, which is unfortunate. Oh. Okay. Oop, did not mean to turn that back on. Those Koopas make it really hard to jump. Uh, run, 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 Yes! Take that! Alright, let's give door number six another try. Brit, 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 brit. I don't know why. I don't know why that was a catchy tune that just played in my head. Gonna swing past here. Hopefully get this mushroom this time. There we go. That's how we gotta do it. Gotta be sneaky like that. And sneak back down here. And then wait for him to go up. And then we have our opportunity. Ooh, ooh that was close. Really feeling it there. Getting a little too personal with the little, with the little thwomp. Oh, I got stuck on the ledge or else I was just going to jump it like that. Whee! Oh, oh, -ho! hopscotch with the little thwomps. Jump over that. Bait him out. He's going to go. Kathunk. Yeah, that is such a good sound effect, too. A nice kathunk sound effect. There we go. Ha, ah, no bamboozling now. We have a feather. Oh, and this part is underwater. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 
Huh, interesting. I think it's- I think this is the same one as the back door. It's just underwater now. Which makes it criminally simple. But considering we've already played this part, I'm not too upset by it. Though making water levels where there's not supposed to be water levels does slow things down quite a bit. Like, come on, Super Nintendo. Play. Oh, he's about to be all, all spooky bamboozle. Huh, all right, I wonder. No, I can't, I can't quick exit either. Because I've already, already beaten it. Well, there's the Bowser Castle door. But let's go. I'm curious to see what the other two rooms are. So we got to go to number three, and then I should have just lavaed myself. That way, I could keep my power up. But let's see what the other ones are, just for science. Science in my video games? No. Three. Okay, number three. And then that's all of them. Oh. I don't think this is supposed... Oh, maybe it is. Maybe this is supposed to be underwater. Like, with the randomizer, you never know. But it does have the skeleton fish. Oh. Gotta be careful. Easy. Mm. Or maybe it's not supposed to be underwater, but because it is, it added a bunch of skeleton fish. So I don't think we go up here. So door number three is definitely a tricky one. Oh. Run underwater. He's like, brown. Swim, 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 stop swimming. Oh, he's gonna get me. Oh, stuck between a thwomp and a hard place. Can't go back up there, and I think this is where we actually teleported down from, so. We do have to go to the right. You never know. With these levels, they could be tricky. They could be like, "Ah, oh, you gotta go down to the to the other side." Okay, nothing down there. Now we're stuck, and there's a fish right there. We're stuck between fish. That's not good. Just a, a little fish sandwich. Don't like that one bit. No, sorry. And we're gonna check out door number eight. Step right up. What did you got? You got an underwater place. There's the dry bones. There's a moving spike walls. It looks like it's punching things. Like those are brass knuckles or something. Okay, this is not great, but we can get over it. Whoop. And we could cape them. That's good. So let's get ready to, once they swing, swim! It's a good thing you can swim through the chains. Oh, oh. Goofers, okay. Actually, eh, this is fine. We can just, Swim through here, and then... Ooh. That ball and chain, though, is kind of nasty. Ah, I swam too high. It's kind of nasty, really. Ooh. Oh. Mm. All right. Here we go. So that was door number eight. So I'm going to go ahead, bite the dust, which will game over, and then we'll cut to door number seven. Five. Four. Six, seven. Oh. Oh no. All right. I think we're just gonna run through this. We don't have a choice. Gotta run. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. We didn't go fast enough. Oh, that's tricky. Okay. 
Let's get back to door number seven here. It's number seven. Okay, so I got a mushroom power up, so even if we take one hit, we should hopefully be okay. Let's see. Started running too quickly, but that's all right. Because I think that'll give us enough time. That is why we got the mushroom, so we could do that. So that's door number seven. Finally, there's one more door left. Let's check out door number five. Right after this accidental cough cough death. Okay, this part again. This is the you gotta be patient level. And I mean, sometimes after that last part where you had to go fast, sometimes you just don't want to be patient. You just want to go fast. Mario, that's what he's all about. He's the supersonic plumber. He has to go fast. If he stopped going fast, then... I don't know. How would he eat all of his meatball subs? I don't know. You tell me. You're the nerds here. But I'm pretty sure we go here, and then we go here. There we go. No slipping and sliding. That fireball's gonna... Okay. We had more time than I thought for that fireball. So let's actually just hide down here. We will be safe from the bamboozlement. Ah, interesting. Okay. So we wait for this part to come down, and we have to wait for it to go back up to avoid the hot bubbly lava. I think this is like one of the first times we've seen actual lava in the game, instead of just like bubbling tar. Oh, those Koopas are like, now nah, we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. Luigi's like, please no. Pop in here, pop in here. They're gonna be like, we're gonna get him. And I'm gonna be like, please no. Yeah, definitely getting through this in a timely manner depends on which door you pick but this one does give us a feather and then it's the final place once again underwater super easy you know what well, I, i'm not even gonna turn off the light that is how pro skill we are here and then unless future me changes his mind i don't know why you would do that future me past me already did all the work for you just gotta put it together some slicity, slippity sl slicing sli slashion yeah, those were words. You know it. You know those words. But that's like all you gotta do. I already planned it out for future me who's doing the editing. So yeah, when I go in this door, it'll be Bowser time. Ooh, and it's kind of icy in here too. Neat. Enjoy! I have plenty of energy left to record some more! Ho oh, oh. He's like, Meow, I'm a helicopter, here's a thing. And you have to be like, boop. And then boop. And then boop. There we go. For the life of me, as a young kid, I could never figure out that part. Like, it took me so long to figure out that that's what you're supposed to do. Yay. Wait for the flames to disappear. Like, help me, Luigi! Should have changed her sprite palette to be, like, yellow, like Daisy. The Ken and Luigi girlfriend, because why not? Oh. Big ol' cannonball. Gotta be careful not to hit the propeller blades, because they will hurt. Oh, jeez, that's another big ol' cannonball. Don't like that. Not one bit. Throw out your little dudes. Let me... Unless he's gotten smart. Okay. Oh. Didn't go high enough, and then he ended up killing the thing. Oh. Oh, and then I threw it off the screen. That's fine. Because this music is rocking. Whoop. So far, not too bad. Don't want to goof it, but... Oh, is that gonna only summon one? Oh. 
That was a mistake, but we can bop him. All right, what you got? More cannonballs? Boom. Oh, see? Got overzealous, and I goofed it. There we go. No more goofing it here for a Luigi. I think we'll get another power-up if we hit him again, so... Also, why are you keeping your prisoner in your clown car? Ooh. Ow. Yeah. Oh, geez. He's a, he is a bouncy Bowser boy. But we saved that one from the last round, so. Gonna throw. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Did we get him? Is that it? Aha! There we go! Oh, look at that. He's so embarrassed. Okay. There's some crazy text there, but it's a little bit gross, so I decided to just kind of cut out that part. But now you get fireworks, so yay. And plus, I didn't know any of the people, Hoss or Floss or Pangea Penguin or something like that. I don't know. Oh, that is... <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, man. That is, uh... Are, are they okay? Bowser's key must really mess them up. Jeez. <laughs> wow. And hey, congrats to everyone who's worked on this. And tested it. I should put my name on there too. The Overlord. Or patreon.com slash the Overlord Empire. Aaron packed a bag with his Super Nintendo SMW and his greasy red shell before setting out on his journey with his majestic steed Yoshi, which was the name he gave to his bicycle. He rode to the end of his driveway and fell on his bike. Oh my god, he said as he reset. Did this repeated for the next few hours because he wanted green splits for the beginning of his adventure. Cool story, bro. Alright, well, this should be the end of it? I think so. We'll let this... Yeah, here we go. They're like, yay! Yay, all the Yoshis are here. Oh. oh, they're so cute! Look at all the little baby Yoshis! All seven of them that we saved from the castles. Look at that. The fish and Lakitu and Paragoomba and Spinies and bomb -oms. Look at that. So much fun. Charging Chucks and Super Koopas. Jumping Pumpkin Plants. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this next season of Conquest. Super Mario's Wackiest World. This is a Super Mario randomizer. The link is in the description of all of the videos to where you can randomize your own adventure. And I had a heck of a lot of fun doing this. It was a great blast from the past. Fun nostalgia. Have our mass Koopas right there. Soon to be the Koopa Bros and Paper Mario. Or the Ninja Koopas or whatever they're called. Blarg! <laughs> what should we name the dragon? Blarg! So yeah, if you want to 
supports the Overlord Empire. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And probably hit the bell thing. I don't know. Everyone's saying hit the bell now. It's an annoying thing. The YouTube system is just kind of dumb like that. So go ahead and do that. Or, most importantly, if you want the best content and support me the most, prove that you are the most loyal of minions, then you can head on over to patreon.com slash the Overlord Empire or overlordempire.com. And you can go ahead and subscribe to as little as $1 a month. That's only $12 for an entire year of special bonus content. It's like, what's up Wednesdays if I'm still doing that? And other fun stuff that I think of between now and when this video actually goes live. It would really help me out a lot. Help grow small businesses, especially when it comes to arts and entertainment, because it is not a very welcome place for anyone trying to, you know, do what they actually enjoy for a living. So, with that being said, just like this is the end of the game, this is the end for now. Stay tuned for a new conquest coming soon, or perhaps something a little bit different. And most importantly, stay random out there for the glory of demankind.